Hey guys, so today is December 5th of 2024, and yes, I'm recording in my office again. Um, <clears throat> I have to head out in about 15-ish minutes um, to go play tennis, so I'm going to make this shorter. I have to make this shorter, otherwise I will have to finish it up, but I'm going to try and make it shorter. So um, <clears throat> for those of you who you've never watched my videos before, you can read in the description about this channel. Just get a backstory. Why do I do these? What are these? Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into that right now because I have a limited amount of time. So today I am going to stick to... Um, all right, hold on one second. I'm going to put my tennis shoes. <laughs> I need to still put my tennis shoes on. Um, I had to pull them off my desk. Um, so today I am going to share one of my son's homework assignments, that boy right there. <clears throat> he was, it would have actually been about the same time of this age right here. So his name is Warren and he would have been, <clears throat> so it's just March 25th of 2020. So he would have been 11 years old. Um, and I was homeschooling him for a short period of time <clears throat> before everything happened. Um, and my world was completely rocked. And my kids' worlds were completely rocked and turned upside down. Um, this was a school assignment. I homeschooled him and we had Bible class or like a Bible. Yeah, I guess you could see Bible class. Um, it was all online, but I printed off. Um, his school assignments for a Bible class so we could go through them and that he could also do some penmanship and do handwriting. So I have been sharing the last four days, I've been sharing his homework or his schoolwork assignment that he did during the day. I had come upon this. I kept all of their stuff, especially their schoolwork, um, <clears throat> just as a reminder. Um, I've boxed a lot of stuff up, but I came across this this last weekend and so I'm sharing some of these because they, they speak to me and I think that they probably speak to each person who is listening to this to think that a kid um, who is 11 years old, a boy, can come to the knowledge of this stuff. This is, I believe, proof and evidence of the Holy Spirit working through anyone, young or old. Like, it doesn't matter. Um <clears throat> Anyone who has, you know, received the Holy Spirit and then the Holy Spirit is flowing through them. So today's, or yeah, today's one that I'm going to be sharing. Um, I'm going to read the question and then what he answered it with. So the question was, <clears throat> try to think, and actually I'm going to back up a little bit. I homeschooled both of them. My daughter, Clara, she was eight and my son was 11. Um in 2020 um so and i had homeschooled him warren um <clears throat> in 2019 as well um the year prior for like half to three quarters of the year and then this in march of 2020 was his second year of homeschooling and my daughter clara's first year of homeschooling um Okay, so now I'll read the question. So it says, try to think of one or two more ways the core value of God is good. Could potentially be misunderstood along with one or two scriptures to correct these misunderstandings. <clears throat> and I'm just winging this, by the way. I haven't even read what he, um, what he wrote. So, um, just so you know, I trust, I trust my son. Um, I know he loved the Lord. I believe he still loves the Lord. And, um, <clears throat> so try to think of one or two more ways. The core value of God is good could potentially be misunderstood along with one or two scriptures to correct these misunderstandings. So yesterday, um, I had shared that he had said, <clears throat> I'll reread them because I think he did this all in the same day would be my guess. Um, he was supposed to write, what does it mean to him of the statement that God is good? 
and he had said, God is not mad at us. Well, he wrote, he wrote two things. He said, God sent his son to die for us. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, John three sixteen. Then he followed that up with God is not mad at us, 2 Peter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. <clears throat> so then the follow-up question was try to think of one or two more ways um, that God is good could be misunderstood, <clears throat> potentially misunderstood. So this is what he wrote. God is not mad at us, even though we get mad at him. John 10, 10. Think about that for a moment. Okay, you guys, this is an 11-year-old boy who understands this. This is an 11-year-old boy that obviously the Holy Spirit revealed this to him. God is not mad at us, even though we get mad at him. John 10, 10. How many of you guys have gotten mad at God? I know I have. I know then, I know that when everything happened <clears throat> to my two kids and knowing potentially what happened to my adult son, who is, I believe, in the process of redemption, um, that he wrote that. He said, God is not mad at us, even though we get mad at him. Um, I remember a time shortly after, um, shortly after an event that took place that was completely devastating to a mother's heart that I got so mad at God and, um, and I don't recommend this, but I will admit my sin that I cussed him out and it breaks my heart now knowing Father God's heart and knowing it was his kids too he was just as like broken and yet I got mad at him how many of us get mad at our spouses about a situation that's not even their fault but we take it out on them or a best friend or a co-worker um we typically take it out on people who are closest to us and who we feel safe. And I took it out on God. And I have since repented of that. And now it hurts me to think of how many, how much he sees. He sees everything, right? Like nothing is hidden from him how broken his heart is like he's not immune to what is going on in this world what's going on to innocent children and innocent adults he's not immune to it it breaks his heart as well and then for us to react and get mad at him when he's like i sent you you are my child do something about it i've given you everything that you need not only to overcome these emotions and feelings but I've given you everything to overcome to help the situation. If it's prayer or resources. But we tend to get like angry and mad. The very people, including God, who can help us. Um, so just to think that my son wrote that. God is not mad at us even though we get mad at him. How many times that my son and my daughter, both of them, might have in their darkest hour before everything happened or before I knew what was going on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just how, how much maybe they cried out to him in their silence of like, why aren't you stopping this? You know, whatever the situation is. Like, my son realized this. Like, God isn't mad at us. Even though we get mad at him, what kind of God is that? What kind of father is that? Amazing. Incredible. His love towards us is incomparable. Like, we can't even put words to it. My husband and I were talking about it recently. 
that we, we truly can't comprehend his love towards us. I'm going to read the second verse. Um, I'm not verse, but the second comment that my son had written. God is for us. A lot of people don't believe that because <sighs> sorry. Um, God is for us. A lot of people don't believe that because they put the blame for horrible things on God. Maybe I should have read this before I read it to you. I wish I could share with you the things that I know, but it's his story. It's his testimony. It's my kid's testimony. There they are. But God prepared us like that is why I stand and I stand firm and I will keep standing in God's goodness and faithfulness. He has a plan in this. I don't understand it, but I trust him. My kids are not the only ones in this situation. I know that because I help a lot of moms. This is an epidemic and um, I am so grateful that God prepared them for this. God prepared me. I mean, so I'm going to reread that. I'm going to read them both together. This is an 11 year old boy who has had what I would say the most challenges um, in his life. And I believe my oldest son as well, that he would be grouped into this. All three of my kids. Um, so I'm going to reread this. God is not mad at us, even though we get mad at him. And he puts in here John 10.10. 10. God is for us. A lot of people don't believe that because they put the blame for horrible things on God. Matthew 4, 23. How many of us do that? How many of us point the finger at God? And the enemy is just using evil against evil and he is compounding the problem and is getting bigger and bigger and bigger when we need to realize Something my 11-year-old son had written in probably a darkest hour or one of the darkest hours of his life. He wrote, God is not mad at us even though we get mad at him. The Holy Spirit revealed that to him. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that God is for us and that a lot of people don't believe that because they put the blame for horrible things on God. If you knew his backstory, you would understand that that statement what he just said. Talk about humility. My kids are incredible. My oldest son, when everything went down, he was 20 years old. He's 25 now. I believe he would have written similar things at age 11. I believe it. He loved the Lord with all of his heart. He was put in a really, really wretched situation that I knew nothing about. But I believe that God's gonna redeem each one of my kids, our situation, he's faithful. He is faithful. All right, my alarm is going off. I'm going to have to, I'll close in a prayer really quickly. Father God, Father, we thank you. We come to you in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, thank you for your word through my son. 
Lord, I pray that that reaches and touches each one of us in our hearts. Father, I lift up my kids to you, all three of them. Lord, I continue to pray may your will be done in our court case, in our situation, in our family here on earth as it is in heaven. And please reunite me with my kids soon. Father, we pray for justice, righteous justice. We pray for the hearts of those who are involved in this for repentance. Lord, we pray for restoration, reconciliation, recompense. Father, we pray in alignment with your heart and your will, Lord. We thank you, Father. Lord, thank you for giving us everything we need to overcome our adversities, our circumstances. Help us to remember that you're not mad at us. You are with us. You are for us. So who can be against us? We thank you, Father, in your heavenly name. Amen. I love you guys. I miss you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.